This message is just for you. You are good enough. This is the episode for you. What if we've spent too long stigmatizing distractions, feeling bad about them, trying to get rid of them, and not enough time figuring out how to harness them? Because maybe they are a key source of inspiration for our goals. So today we're talking about distractions. What are the things that you think about when you've told yourself that you're supposed to be studying? What do you find yourself doing when your attention starts to wander? And what content do you seek out? What rabbit holes do you go down? So often we think about our interests and our hobbies as competing with our language learning or the pursuit of our big goal. And that's even more frequently the case when our hobbies aren't the conventionally productive ones like writing a novel, creating tangible crafts, or earning money through our music. Because there's always that voice that tells us it's time-wasting, that we're doing those things as a means of avoiding the sensible, valuable, productive things. And then they start to feel shameful and then we resent them, and then we resent ourselves for allowing them. But what if they're not competing? What if they're giving you clues as to how to make your language learning better and more suited to you? Because people talk about fascination as being engaged without effort. You don't need to try, you just get lost in whatever it is. Maybe not all the time, but that thing, whatever it is, has a higher hit rate for fascination, for flow state, than other things in your life. So maybe instead of resisting it, we should be running with it, at least some of the time. So today I would love to encourage you to make a list of some of the things that you read about, or search for, or think about, in the time that you set aside for working. And then in a second column, just see if you can find any ways to bring those things deliberately into your language learning. Look for YouTube channels or social media platforms or forums that can help you to develop those interests in your new language. Look for online seminars or webinars or classes or meetups taking place in that language. Schedule time into your weekly study plans where you can give yourself permission to work with this stuff so that it's less likely to come and try to draw you away when you've told yourself that you're supposed to be doing other things. And if you like to just get lost in random rabbit holes, I've never forgotten in the sitcom The Big Bang Theory that the group had Anything Can Happen Thursday on the third Thursday of every month. So what if you can allow yourself the occasional afternoon set aside where you can just see where your language takes you? Because one thing that I think we're forgetting in the productivity circles right now, in the personal development, in the study groups, is that rabbit holes are not inherently bad. And the things that we do when we're procrastinating don't necessarily need to be eliminated. They need to be given a time and a place when they're allowed, when they're given a job to do that isn't just to facilitate avoidance, and when they're celebrated. So tell me in the comments, what weird and wonderful thing are you going to explore in your new language today? Maybe you'll have some great ideas that other people will want to follow too. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.